classical crescendo. Lucio Campiani, 1822-1914. Early life and musical beginnings. Born into a family deeply rooted in the arts on 16 September 1822 in Frassine di San Giorgio Mantovano, he was the son of Michelle, an oboist, and Anna Sella, a noblewoman and pianist. From a young age, he was immersed in the world of music, learning the basics from his parents. He practiced on the harpsichord, mastering the study and knowledge of string instruments, especially the viola. He also showed early signs of leadership and creativity by conducting a small orchestra and composing pieces for it. Formal education and mentorship under Rossini. At 18, he moved to Bologna to attend the prestigious music school then led by Maestro Rossini. He passed the entrance examination with flying colors and became a pupil of Gioacchino Rossini himself, who saw in him a great artistic talent. Rossini's admiration for his skills was so profound that he referred to him as his genius in a letter to Professor Michel. During his student years, he developed a preference for sacred music, composing pieces for the solemn mass of St. Cecilia celebrated in the Colonnade Church of St. James. Early achievements and decision to stay in Bologna. After completing his studies with distinction, including receiving a silver medal for his final essay, he was encouraged by Rossini to spend an additional year in Bologna. This period was marked by significant personal growth and the honing of his compositional skills, particularly in sacred music. Professional life in Mantova. In 1856, despite being offered a prestigious position in Bergamo on the advice of composer Amilcare Poncielli, he chose to remain in Mantova due to his deep attachment to his city. There, he took on multiple roles, including Maestro di Capella at the Cathedral, Director at the Teatro Social, and eventually, a Chair of Teaching at the newly established Scuola di Musica of Mantova. He was also active as a private tutor in counterpoint, piano, and singing. Operatic career. He made his operatic debut in 1848 with Alberto de Saviola, a work of patriotic theme. This was followed by Elvira of Valenza and Il Taldo, both of which were well received and showcased his ability to compose dramatic and engaging music. His operas were performed in several prestigious theatres, contributing significantly to his reputation as a talented composer. Later years and legacy. Retiring to Mantova, he dedicated his later years to teaching and composing sacred music, contributing significantly to the musical repertoire with a vast collection of works. For about four decades, he shaped generations of musicians, including notable singers like Storchio and Trentini. In 1905, he retired from public life and passed away in 1914 at the age of 92, leaving behind a legacy that enriched the world of music. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.